Yeah, what did you get? I got a strawberry and lime uh, rock star and a woman's health magazine. Why did you get a woman's health magazine? You know, I'm like, I'm like for equal rights and equal fights. So <laughs> you guys might not know, but I've like been going around the UK testing out road stops. Um, I wanted it to be really popular online, but it, it, it's struggling at the minute, you know. So, um, so we're going to so we're going to be doing that today, seeing how that goes. Then I'll uh, see if you guys want to come. You have a ticket. Yeah. There you go. Do you mind getting your knees up my back? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm getting this. Oh, well, we'll be, our final stop's going to be uh, Gardiston, but we're going to be heading to Fort William right now and Inverness and just on the way, just doing a couple of road stops, you know, just trying to fill out my uh, portfolio for this project, um, get a good feel for what it actually feels like and everything like that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your vehicle? Well, so it's a Ford, um, Ford Fiesta uh, VTEC. Um, it's just got normal stuff, normal dash. It hasn't got the best acceleration, but it does the job pretty well, you know. It got good, uh, got stereo, got heating, heat, um, it's re really good. Um, got windows, it's just a standard car, you know. Just feels exactly how you'd expect a car like this to feel. Nothing too crazy, but um, I've arrived at the famous Craningy Road Stop. I can't wait. I was very scared I would have to go somewhere like McDonald's or something. So uh, we stopped here at the world famous uh, McDonald's in uh, Fort William. I, I went in and I was like, What's like the signature thing that you, you're known for? And uh, they came back with this. Uh, I think it's pronounced a big meek or something like that because we are in Scotland. So I think that's how they're going to pronounce it. So this is what the big meek uh, looks like. Um, it looks okay. Um, bugs are a little thin, but we'll see what, we'll see what we get here. All right, ready? So that sauce, I don't know what kind of sauce that is, but it's very st like tangy on the tongue. So I'll try it without the dip first. The coating's not as crunchy as I wanted it. Um, the cheese inside is pretty good. Let's give it a little dip. With that dipping sauce, it's bumped up quite heavily. 
considering the facilities that they had, they had bathrooms in there. It was actually okay. Um, the look of the look of the place. I've never seen a building quite look like this. Um, it's quite new, quite modern, um, with a traditional touch with the roof and all that. And the parking facilities aren't great, however, considering the fact that there is no parking left and it's the middle of the day. Um, so I would give this overall experience a six out of ten. It's not bad. Uh, I would I would recommend, but I wouldn't go here possibly again. Passing um, Lock Loggy at the minute, um, home of the Loch Ness Monster. We're just on a little side road just off of uh, Loch Loggy. Um, just wanted to bring light to the beautiful scenery of Scotland. Just uh, thought we'd stop and give a quick look. Um, and also just wanted to say that I'm really, really happy to this point that my car hasn't broken down since that would be a disaster at this point considering we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Keep pushing, guys. That's it, lads. Go on. Go on, keep going. Yeah, just uh, the lock is just there. Here we are at the Dobby's Garden Centre and Tesco Express in Inverness, the second of our road stops today. We're hurtling towards the finale and the third road stop in Gardenston. I'm excited. Are you excited? I can't wait. My, my. My car, card got declined. Can I, can I borrow yours? So after some technical difficulties with our second uh, road stop here at the Dobby's Garden Centre at the Tesco Express, we've uh, only managed to purchase one item. Um, this uh, Starbucks Caramel Macchiato chilled coffee and uh, I'm just gonna give it a quick taste test here to see uh, how good it is um, and give you a quick review so let me just open up it smells it smells dreadful um, but we'll see what it tastes like it taste isn't bad um, so the product itself, I would give a, a seven out of 10. So for taste, it's not bad. It's a good product. Um, however, the shopping mall itself, um, I'm going to give the facilities a four out of 10 and the shop itself probably around another three or four out of 10. It's not very unique as it's got uh, Tesco's, which is a very national brand, um, but it is, uh, it's got its little charm with its little garden center attached, so I'll give it a seven. I'll give overall with the products and the garden center itself and the Tesco's. I'll give it a solid six out of ten. You know, you got a ball open. Oh yeah, it's a bit embarrassing.
don't know. I just, did I just work here? says that the the road stop shut fuck it 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 fine fuck it you know what fuck it what what holy <laughs> shit man no 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 we're going to hunt we can't hunt man we need to because we're Hey man, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe I should take that. Oh, okay. All right, back in the road. Not that far. Okay. Maybe what did I do? Fuck it. I don't know. Fuck it. Okay. <coughs> back on the. Back on the road, I guess. Should he be driving? I don't know. I've just got to. I've just got to phone me if you want to. One minute, all right. So we're in Gardingston now, right? And um, I fought for the boys. We would celebrate the end of our journey, having a work with him. What a beer. One for the each of us. Here we are in gardens, then, dude. Final stop. Final stop. On our long tour. When you, when you tell them what you think. It's a very nice town. It's very beautiful. The wish the road stop that was promised would be open. But we're here now. Might as well enjoy it whilst we're here. Yeah. Let's go to. Let's see what we can do by the seaside. Finally on the east coast. Gardenston, where friendship and memories are made for life. I'll never forget my experience out here at the end of not just Scotland, but everything. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and well, pass me something because I'm going I'm to be holding on. Oh, and, and just one, one last thing. I think I can see Ireland from here. Mm, do you think we should boost? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>